Honourable Member, Georgetown St. Peter's, fi final question. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. So we want to go back and, and talk about this. Back when Chris LeClaire decided he was going to leave government, back when he decided with the, with his, the Jenkins boys that, he was gonna, that they were going to take all this in and they were going to make all the money, even though the Minister of Finance had an MOU with CMT. So CMT comes along and they, they actually want to do the work because they've done all of the work and they weren't going to allow somebody to take it from them and, and just take their idea and run with it and make all the money. Carter comes along. Uh, gets introduced to Chris LeClaire by CMT. Chris LeClaire tries to partner with them and steal the business from government. Government decides that they're going to invent a cancer patient to discredit CMT. Question to the, to the minister or the premier again. Premier, why don't you see fit with all these things that you guys have done, with all these things that your government has done, inventing cancer patients and such, why won't you make this finance minister resign today? The Honourable Minister of Finance. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and uh, it's uh, it's always interesting when the member from Georgetown, St. Peter, rises on his questions and makes a lot of accusations. And, and uh, Mr. Speaker, I think if you take the time to, to read through, uh, Mr. Sp Mr. Speaker, do I have the floor? Still? Yes, you do. Okay, Go ahead. Thank you. Uh, if you take the time to read the uh, the emails that he's referring to, that I somehow uh, have some sort of under scheme involvement with uh, 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 Mr. McLaren. There's nothing like that anywhere in those emails, Mr. Speaker. Nothing like that at all. And uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, I have no intentions of resigning. I'm working very hard at my job. I've, I've been given a mandate by the Premier. We're driving our economy. We're leading the country in almost every aspect of economics. That's what this government is striving to do. That's what the people of Prince Edward Island expect us to do, and that's what we're going to continue to do. So buckle up. Yeah.